Oh, here he goes. So this guy was apparently caught. Perhaps. Why is that guy twitching over there? Look at that guy he's twitching. <laughs> is he angry or what's his problem? Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Goliath, episode number six. We're on our way over here to talk to the leader of the Stalkers. So we could join the Rat Mafia over here. But before we do that, I did notice there's a couple of chests over here. Did oh, what was that? Something just zapped me? Did something just zap me right now? Is Zeus mad at me? Zeus, stop being mad at me for whatever reason you're mad about. Uh, military crates. Oh, yeah, these right here? I think there's a... <laughs> those are a bad idea. You run. Okay. I, I gotta I gotta confess something to you guys. My my regular wooden golem. You see how this guy is wooden golem, but he's got the fire head? This is the one that I had in the storage. Remember that? Did I make my mistake the first time? Well, um, turns out, uh, the other wooden golem, I think I could probably fix him if I take him to the garage, but he blew up. He absolutely blew up. There was a military crate on the walk over here. I wasn't recording at the time, unfortunately. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll just loot, because I am I do some resource gathering off-camera for us. So I was just looting it, and suddenly I blew up. And mine was there, so... <laughs> you might want to be really careful with those. That's the reason why I'm so scared about getting close to them. There's a chest over here. How do I get back over here? Oh, you know what? Let's get out of the... There you go. That's how you get that one. Give me that. Give me that. So yeah, you might want to be careful with those military crates. They are bad news sometimes. So, I think I saw another... There's one right here. You don't mind if I just come in here and steal, right? Leader of the Stalkers? No? Okay, good. Look at these Mafia guys. Bunch of pansies just letting this little... Hold up, hold up. I forgot to do it, didn't I? Hold up. Welcome back, everybody! To... <laughs> the legs. Oh, it's so... Okay, let's um, let's be serious here. Scubs the Junk Dealer. Alright, let's see. Uh, another... I need another scumbag sleazy voice for the rat here. Um, you must be the human that the scree the sentry said was going to help us. Maybe I am. What do you got? Well, we've got a rat missing. Scrags the unreliable. Unreliable. Oh, maybe he's probably missing because he's so unreliable. I never liked him. He's a liar and a weasel. That's worse than a rat. But he owes me four seeds and he borrowed my fur comb. And I think he's found some treasure, so I want you to find him. Alright, what's in it for me? Are you going to ask that every time? You're proving yourself to the rats. We're the most powerful group in the forest. With our help, you'll be invincible. That's what's in it for you. Cheesh. Anyway, I like your attitude. Let me see a map. Here's where he was last seen. It's an old abandoned military base from long ago and far away. Maybe it was your people who designed it. If so, you guys have a lot of good stuff to steal. Find him, alive or dead. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, okie dokie. Sounds good. Why even ask him more questions? We gotta do it regardless of which, right? Might as well do it. Is there something over here in the map that I guys saw? I think I saw something. What do we what do we got here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I saw something special. Look. Oh, it's just something for me to grab. Oh! Okay, hold up. <laughs> be careful, Falcon, be careful. Okay. Okay. Just Just pillage carefully. Pillage carefully. <laughs> These things are liable to go off any moment. Okay, I, I think we're fine. Cool boy. And we have one more chest over here somewhere around here. Where's this chest at? Hey. Hey, oh, it's not a chest, it's garbage. You lied to me. It's fine though, we got some stuff here. Let's get on out of here. Let's get on. Spider? What are you what are you doing in here? This is not spider country, this is rat country. Crazy spider. I'll let the rats deal with you. Alrighty. Let's get underway over here. It's really dark. Really dark, a little bit scary actually. Why is it so dark? It's actually a little bit terrifying. Hey, have I? Ooh, that's a chest I haven't acquired before. It's near rat, uh, skeleton territory. They're coming after me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hey, hey, hey. How about you guys relax, huh? How about you fucking relax while I come to my obelisk? Yeah. Yeah, you go fight the, the bird people. That's fine. Do whatever you gotta do. Um, oh, hey, apparently we're going to another map for this mission. Cool. Find a missing stalker. We're going over to the Fever's Grass Missing Marauder. You got it. Alrighty, Fever's Grasp. Have, have we been here before? It doesn't seem... It doesn't sound familiar, but... Oh, wait, is this just Desert World? Another variation to Desert World? Who knows? Okay. Uh, Missing Marauder. Let's look at this map here. No, we, we've been here before. Otherwise, the map wouldn't be partially opened up to us. So... Somewhere along that way. Okay. Well, at least we have an idea. Now, here's a question to us. Do I need to kill any of these golems right now? And if I do... Oh, you know what I just realized? I haven't had any, any to get equipped on this guy. Because I told you, like, my, my other guy 
blew up. <laughs> so we might want to give this guy a weapon. And, oh, we got no catapult for you. Or do we? Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Yeah! There you go. There you go. Amazing wooden catapult. I don't think we have to kill any wooden guys for any of our experiments, do or the the not the wooden guys, but the stone guys. Let's see. For number three, we need to kill the red grabber. Not sure what the fuck that is. Reach level 17, that's gonna be a while. Kill 30 enemies with a revolver, that's gonna be for little man. And then stun simultaneous 10 enemies. Okay. So not for now. And then for level two, I um stone guy, kill 15 snow golems, that's not here. Reach level eleven, that's not too bad. Hand is already unlocked, and kill a grabber with a stone goliath in the overdrive. Grabber. Okay. I don't think you guys are the grabbers, so for now, we continue on our merry way. Oh, you know what? This is another variation of the desert. It's a desert world. Yeah, we've been here. We've been. I'm sorry. I'm confused now. I'm under control now. We got it. I'm heating up a little bit, as expected, because I'm on the partially wooden guy. My god. Uh, let's switch over to the wooden guy. I don't like how red that guy's face mask is getting. You know, it's kind of terrifying. Excuse me, can we speed myself up here? Thank you. Okay, we're under control now. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let's see how the, the, the ice guy works again. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Pretty good damage. Remember, these guys just take a while to kill before because they're really all hard and, you know, stony. You know, that's because they're stone golems. They, they would be kind of stony. But now, with the um, ice weapon, not too bad. Oh, here he goes. So this guy was apparently caught. Perhaps. Why is that guy twitching over there? Look at that guy he's twitching. <laughs> is he angry or what's his problem? Okay. Hey, I'm going to talk to this guy if you don't get so mine. Lost Stalker. Uh, who's out there? I'm so thirsty and I can't move. My my arm is trapped. Are you Scratch the Unreliable? I was sent to find you by one of your friends. Friends? Nah, that can't be right. Probably old Scratch the Junk Dealer. He's jealous of me and always wants to know where I'm on accounts of uh, the fact that I'm the supreme leader of the Vermafia. I'm just out here because I can't trust any of my underlings to do anything right. Anyway, I was exploring this ruin and found some great loot, but everything is just falling apart, so I'm stuck here. I think we could clear it off with, if we use the bomb, and I have one. I can give it to you through this crack. Try to blow up the stones, but don't kill me. Even more dismiss Mrs. Snort. What a stupid idea. It is a stupid idea. Uh, stone obstacle. There is a massive pileup of stones. Grass the Unrobo has an arm trapped under it, but otherwise appears to be uninjured. There are several pockets where you could place some sort of explosive device without risking killing the rat. Uh, put the mine between the stone and the and blow the passage. Start clearing the blockage with your hands. Leave empty-handed. I, I just feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> like he's gonna blow himself up. Let me start clearing the blockage with my hands. After some time and some bloody fingers, it dawns on you that there are too many stones. You need to get rid of the blockage some other way. Oh, well, it looks like we have to blow it up after all. So. Put the mine between the stones and blow the passage. No, oh, there it is. <laughs> Why is that guy so mad? Look at him. He's just twitching away. And they're just letting him go. So I guess they didn't trap him. He just got stuck here like an idiot. Which is the reason why that guy's just twitching over. He doesn't really care. Okay, be careful, Falcon. Don't blow yourself up. Please don't blow yourself up. You know what? If we're going to blow myself up, I'd rather be the regular wooden one. Dynamite, can you... Can you? Dynamite disappeared. I can't grab the dynamite anymore. Okay. Oh, we got it now. I'm scared to get too close because I feel like it's going to blow up on me. I think that happens with mines. Like, I think that's probably what happened, the reason why it blew up. Like, I think I might have pill... I think I might have pillaged, and then a mine literally dropped on me and wasn't aware of it, so I moved and it blew up. I think that's probably how it worked out. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that's how it worked out. Alright, so now with that done... Oh, by the way, I have teleportation devices, so let's teleport back. Yeah. Why even walk when you can teleport around? As a matter of fact, can I build a few more teleporters? Because we're almost done. Yeah, we can. So let's make make all six of these right now. Speaking of which, coal, 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 coal. Where's the fire at? There's not a fire. You make me some coal here for a while, and I will loot you here pretty soon. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Scubs, the junk dealer, and we have pretty much earned the good graces of the Mafia. I think, anyway. If I'm right, fire, yep, it's still burning. Cool. So I love how you can, like, you know, put a fire, like, in another world, jump to another world, and you still have your 
I mean, technically, that's how it should work, since apparently this obelisk is still magical, but... I like that. Let me swap over to non-fire version. And 10 coal, I think that's pretty cool at this point. Let's go ahead and take everything back. And that should give us enough to make a few more. How many? We have seven teleporters. I guess for now we'll hold on to the ones that we have. Let's make a couple of more Ultra Song Glue, however. Natural Rubber. I might as well, like two more maybe. Slowing Mine. I mean, I like my mines when you have like a, a lot of enemies chasing you. But I have a lot of them. We have 22 at the moment, so I think we're fine. Uh, stone blocks, make a couple of those here, and then healing ointment. I mean, we rarely ever use Little Leg Man, so... I'll just wait till we can make some more repair kits, which we require scrap irons for. Okay, so I think for the most part we're fine here. And for laboratory, mortar bomb, restoration oil... Bronze bar... Let's make, like, a couple more of those. Okay, I think we're fine. So, let's go onwards here. My way with sun. How you guys doing, huh? Just hanging out? Hanging out, little chicken guys? Don't worry, I'm not attacking you guys right now. Hey, I'm Rat Dude. Are we, like, buddies now that uh, I'm, like, over here working for your for your family? Maybe. I mean, they're not attacking me. They, they seem relatively cordial enough, so I, I guess we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, here we go. Scubs! Hey, I'm back, buddy. I found that guy for you. Oh, you, you making me get off my glide? Come on. That we were buddies. Uh, Scuffs the junk dealer. So, it looks like you've reached Skask the Unreliable. As the leader of the Royal Rats, I salute you. As an undercover junk dealer, I am angry. He hasn't brought me back any of his loot, or any of the stuff he borrowed from me. In fact, he said you stole it from him. He also said he was the leader of the Rats, and that you were just jealous, so maybe that's true too? Hmm, well, that's, uh, obviously not true. Okay, fine. You have completed... What? <laughs> Excuse me! Excuse me! Don't you suddenly go into a foreign language talking to me, Ratman. What the hell you mean you have completed... Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Hey, if anybody, um, could tell me what that means, please tell me. Uh, this I decree as undisputed leader of the Vermafia. Okay then, boss. Got anything else for me? We're done here. Talk to Scree. Ooh, we got a mighty frost something, though, from this guy. And we do need a nice weapon for some experiment, right? Or am I, am I just reading that incorrectly here? Could have sworn. <gasps> you saw that? Oh my god, <laughs> the spider just blew himself up. How did you manage that? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's fucking scared the shit out of me. Why are you looking at my experience? I don't think something goes off next to me. Okay, that was scary. Um, no, no, it's just kill snow golems. For some reason, I thought, like, I had to use a, a nice weapon to kill some. I'm a moron. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's, um... Let's look at my inventory, though, because... Oh, let's go over to Homeboy here. Right, and... Let's go to inventory. Anything new for you? Mighty Frost Catapult for the Wooden Guy freezes enemies in place. Uh-huh, that sounds pretty good. That's what we got just now from that guy, I'm pretty sure. What is this here? This is for the stone guy, Mighty Frozen Man. Oh, he already has that. And this is for stone guy, the mythical barbarian axe as well. Okay, cool. I, I think for the most part, we're fine. So now, let's uh, mark ourselves over to Scree. And avoid the spiders who apparently blow up. And avoid oh yeah, we should get some revolver kills if we're at it. Oh, is she? What the fuck? Why? You tell me why right now. You explain to me why this is being an issue right now, bull man. Fuck you, Shogun. Okay, you know, drop a heal. I'm not sure what's happening to my screen, too. There's a lot of weird effects happening right now. Yeah, go, go for it. Huh? Go for it. You want to be a s asshole? Huh? Want to be an asshole? I'll fight you. Swap over to Stone Guy. Oh, no, no, no. Stone Guy, I said. Ah, oh, he could actually knock me down this way. Can I block through this? No, it's unblockable, apparently. It says so right there on the screen. <laughs> unblockable. Well, you know what? Damage actually does me pretty good, so we'll just fight it out. Anything I'm scared of you, motherfucker? Oh. Jesus. I should be scared of you. He's doing quite a number on me. Ah! Stop it! Alright, motherfucker, you want catch fire! Catch fire! Burn him! Burn him good! Ooh, the fire one. It's pretty good, because we, we apparently the fire does cause a little bit of, like, stun locking. So we could just kind of take some shots at him when he's over here stun locked a bit. Oh, that hurt a bit. Dodge it. 
He's almost. Oh, come on. He's almost down. Just one more. Just one more hit, dog. Come on. Stop missing. You. You're. You're. A, you're just a piece of shit. That's what you are. You're just a giant bull piece of shit. You're bullshit, really. There you go. God damn, that was a lot more difficult than it really had to be. The thing is that now that I'm strong, I'm like a little bit less lean. I'm like more lenient about taking hits. Like when I was like weaker, what the fuck happened here? Look at this spider colony out here. Anyway, yeah, when I was like weaker, I'd be like, you know, really sensitive about everything I dodged. Now it's kind of like, yeah, I'm strong, whatever. What do I care? I have a lot of repair kits. I'm becoming a little bit too lenient now. Okay. Um, are the spiders about to attack the rat colony? <laughs> is that why they're all here? I don't know. But hey, we have a slot machine. Yeah. Coinage! Coinage for me! Oh, it's already been picked clean. You don't mind if I steal from you, do you? As long as you're playing? Alright, we're fine. Um, I need to talk to the leader here. Slot over here, wooden guy. Alright, Scree, what's up? You there! I hear you've been doing a lot of missions around here for uh, my underlings. Underlings, huh? I guess that would make you the supreme leader of the Vermafia. Yeah, you're right. Looks like you have a keen eye to be able to pick out my leadership qualities while I'm working at a cover as a bum just sitting next to a chest. Well, I have a question, Mr. Boss. What chest you're standing on next to is supposed to... The, the chest you're supposed to be um, standing next to is supposed to contain the double orbiter, the ultimate weapon against the foxes of the Forest of Brotherhood. Can I check it out? Uh, yeah. I heard that you've been really helpful and under trust. Sure, human. Take a look. Open chest. There is nothing inside the chest except a small note that says, Fooled you! What the hell is this? Aha! Yeah, we rats aren't so great at engineering anything, but we're terrific at lying. We've had those foxes wrapped around our fingers from day one. What a bunch of chumps. So, you just threatened them with a non-existent weapon, and they just did that what you wanted? I can't believe that worked. Me neither! That's the great trick, that's the great trick it was. Man, I could live to be a hundred and I'll never come up with one like that again. Naturally, it was your idea. You're the leader. Nice work. Well, I'm off. <laughs> I got a fabulous wooden sword, at least for my wooden guy, which is fine. Um, you gotta think you we expected that to happen almost right. They're rats. I mean, you didn't really see them as being like the smartest dudes out there. And lying is what they do. And you know what? They bluff the fuck out of those um, foxes. So hey, good on them. <laughs> good on them. They bluffed their way through a victory. So let's go tell the foxes they were fooled by the dumb rats. Not really dumb, I mean, they're sneaky dudes, so they got the job done. I should have just teleported, but you know what, it's not too far from me. You know what, let's actually, before we go over there and find horns for Gronk, this is the, the hunter mission that we have for Gronk over here. Uh, find horns for Gronk. The problem is, who drops horns is what I don't remember right now. What's happening over here? Are you finding, oh my god, those, the chickadees took down the spider. Good on them. The giant Drock is looking at you braced on his club. Each of Drock's fingers is as thick as your forearm. You understand it is good for your health to stay on his good side. Um, seven horns. Who drops horns? I don't remember right now. I have claws. Do you, well, I mean, the bulls have horns, obviously. Do I have to go after the bulls? Let me go kill a bull right now really quickly, I guess, and we'll, we'll test it out. So you should have a... I thought you had a fire catapult. Oh, you do. You should do. Hold on. Fire cut it, boys. There we go. Catch your ass on fire. Catch your ass on fire. Luckily, it's raining, so I can just kind of like heal my damage as well. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't catch Chicken Man on fire. He's done nothing to us at the moment. Okay. Oh, no. I wasn't trying to use that. Okay, whatever. Take advantage of it. Smack him down. Uh, I see skins, coins, no horns. Okay, so they're not the, the ones for the horns, huh? Okay. Well, we'll keep our eyes out. Let me know when you guys see a horn. Um, for now, we have to, I guess, go back to the foxes, huh? Yeah. Tell them that they were, um, bluffed. They were completely bluffed. Secret weapon, fever's grafts. Uh, here is where I'm at. Uh, nothing interesting. Secret weapon. I guess we're going back to fever's grasp. That's right, that's where the foxes are at. Okay. So, let, let's see here. Excuse me. This is not where I'm supposed to be going? Superior hunter. Hold on. Let me... Let's see. Let's see. Secret weapon. Talk to Fentus. Right. I want... Can we untrack this one? There you go. Talk to Fentus. There it is. So it was uh, apparently momentarily 
unselected is my main thing, which is kind of confusing. It's like, I know I'm supposed to be coming here and talk to that guy, tell him that about the secret weapon. Why isn't it popping on the map anymore? Horns, huh? Where do we get these horns, I wonder? Sand gems? I'll take those. Where do we get these horns? Have I pillaged you before? I have. Horns, horns, horns. No, you guys drop silicone and stone. You're not the horn ones. Nope. Fentus. Is Fentus still behind that, like, um, area where he was trapped with the burning trees? <laughs> Why would you remain there? Like, you know, you were... Like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you were ever, like, in, like, mortal danger, you know? Like, where you're, like, dying. Like, say... Say you were, like, um... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't have a good, uh, like, a good explanation for this one. But say, like, you, you got critically hurt somewhere, right? And you were met with impending doom. Why would you remain in that area or come back there daily and remind yourself, Hmm, this is almost where I died. This is what Fentus is doing. This is almost where we basically almost burned alive as furry foxes. But here, here he is. Here he is. Talk to him. Stomp pants! You returned from your undercover assignment with those foul, dishonorable rats. Could you do it? Could you pretend to be a soulless mercenary in Winter Trust? Actually, yes. And I'm exhausted by it. Every single rat told me he was the supreme leader of the entire group. It'll be a great relief to work with honest folk from now on. The weapon! Could you discover the design of the double orbiter so that our engineers can learn how to disarm it? Yes, as a matter of fact, it's quite a simple design. It doesn't exist. They have been using your fear to control you. Or, uh, yes, it's very dangerous, but if you give me 1,000 gold, I will sneak in and destroy it for you. Oh my god. No, no, I'll go with the first one. I want to keep them on my good side if I can. What? Stone pants, do you tell me the truth? Or do, do you tell me true? Do you tell me true? I, I mean, I, I was telling you the truth, but sure, I will tell you true as well. Oh, I am a fool. Such a fool. How can the Forest Brotherhood look to me as a leader if I cannot see through such a transparent ruse? You care deeply about your well-being and of all your subjects. You are the leader they deserve. I'm proud to work with you. Stonepants, you are a great ally. You have the Forest Brotherhood's great admiration and my personal loyalty until the end of time. Thanks. I humbly accept. I look forward to working with you, Fentus. Stonepants, you have done a wonderful job for us. Smart, resourceful, quick-witted, strong, and brave. I salute you. Now it's time for me to pay you back and tell you how to get back to your home. Fantastic! This has been a lot of work, so I'm happy to be able to uh, finish now. Where is it? Ah, right. Well, the truth is that I don't know where any of that stuff is, but I do know a creature called the Collector. He knows many things. Perhaps he will know of a place you are looking for. Uh, are you kidding me? After all the work for you and for the rats and... And you're telling me I need to go find someone else who might know something about it? Well, I didn't think you'd get mad about it. This seems like a good trade to me. I, I had some knowledge that you didn't have, and we traded a little. That's fair, isn't it? I, I guess so. Thanks for your help. I see your side of it. I guess. Oh, well, wonderful. We hope we can help us again sometime. Yeah, I guess. Boy, the things I have to do to avoid an argument. So there you guys have it. Now we have to go meet the Collector. The Collector of Worlds. Alright, guys. We're going to wrap it up here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.